This was never just about learning about these things just to learn about them, right? It was about what we're going to do with it and what kind of people we are and what kind of people we hope to be for the rest of our lives. Well, I didn't really know much about the Holocaust, so I wanted to learn more. Learning about anything in history, but something as unbelievably atrocious as, uh, as the Holocaust, is, it was really about what can we do with the information. This is where hate leads, and therefore, what can we do about it? What can we learn from this? What kind of a world can we make as a result of our learning? I knew that it had happened, but I didn't know the in-depth features of it. You know, uh, when I first started with sixth graders, after having started teaching it with eighth graders, I wasn't positive, you know, at what point is it too soon? And so with the guidance and working with people from the Holocaust Center for Humanity, done a lot of talking and thinking and, and, and having discussions about what books would be relatively uh, palatable and yet engaging. We read the books uh, Mouse by Art Spiegelman. His dad was a survivor and he, it was about his story. The students are really, they're really taken aback with the idea that, that the Nazi party wasn't even the majority um, in, in Germany at all. That this terrible uh, you know, black cloud was allowed to grow and overwhelm the entire country and much of Europe because the people who scoffed at this idea of what Hitler was and what he was trying to do, but not my problem, didn't stand up. I wrote a fictional story about a German woman who lives near a concentration camp and a Jew comes to her door asking for help and she has an inner struggle about whether she should help the Jew or shouldn't, and she does. The biggest thing that I learned was you can't let people bully each other and you have to stick up for other people. You can't let this happen to any other children again. There's a line in the Torah where he who helps one man helps change the entire world. So it's kind of about how we can change the world just by helping each other. And that's really it, is this idea that it starts with me, that it starts with each and every one of us. And too often, I think, to the extent that I can remember, when I was, you know, the, these kids' ages, sixth graders, we keep on thinking about when I grow up, when I grow up, and this is the job I want to have, maybe, and this is the type of person I want to be. But I'm trying to empower kids that the future is now, and that just because they're young doesn't mean that they don't have a voice or a say in things now, or that it's too early to start thinking about these things and what kind of friends they want to have, what kind of person they hope to be. Like me, two of my other friends, we uh, found a swastika from the Nazis carved in a park in the ground and we went and took care of it and that's just kind of the first step of, you know, showing people that that was not okay. The main lesson I learned from this is that you need to, like, stick up for other people, and I need to change the world. That's what you gotta do. People are all the same, no matter what religion, whether they're black or white, or any of that stuff. I've really learned a lot, and I've become um, a much better person, so. so. I'm just, yeah, very glad to see my daughter can apply what she learned, and I think this club really uh, make her grow up a lot in a, such a sh short time. And I think Mr. R is an excellent uh, teacher and thinker for, educator for the, for the children here. The hope is, is that you think more. You become more reflective. I know I wasn't as a sixth grader. Nobody talked to me about these things. And so I try to help educate them and empower them so that we can start making differences now. Because it starts with youth when you're more, you know, malleable, I suppose, and open to ideas. And if you get this, no, man, hate is the worst, world's worst thing, then maybe you're more likely to stand up and defend somebody else who's getting bullied in school or et cetera.